Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the occlusion. So we're going to refine that a little bit. Like if we take a look at it over here, we have a little bit of space there. So we have to fill this in, we have to fill this in. We'll have to puddle this area in a little bit. And this area here a little bit. This is a little too open. So let's take a look at what we can do here. Remember you have to be very careful with the heat when you do this. This is where an electric waxer comes in handy. The application of heat is the key to this whole thing. So let's fill this in a little bit. Let's puddle this in. Let's add some wax here. Add some wax to the buckle marginal, I mean triangular ridge. I don't know why I keep saying marginal. Make a little depression, a secondary depression there. Let's puddle in this little groove here. A little. Let's make it smoother. By the oblique ridge, it's a little open, so we'll fill that in. Then we can use the instrument. And we're going to define the central grooves and the developmental grooves that break through what I like to do is I like to make the grooves sharp in the interior of the tooth and then kind of widen it as you come out to the top. You see? It becomes very sharp here and then as you come up you kind of blend it with the heat so it becomes more of a depression than a groove. You see? Sharp and then it shallows out. The sharp grooves are generally within the center of the tooth because that's where the lobes split. And then we make the mesial and the distal marginal grooves or mesial and the distal spillways. They're called spillways because the food spills out through them as you chew. As the opposing cusps mash the food into the pits and the little grooves, the food will squeeze out through the sides and through the developmental grooves on the buckle and the lingual. The way to tell whether it's a developmental groove or a secondary groove is that developmental grooves break through the periphery of the tooth and separate the lobes. Secondary grooves kind of finish up and kind of widen out and they don't break through the um, bridges 
it just kind of kind of fade out by the end. So we have the buckle cut, the buckle developmental groove here. Just don't bring this all the way down. You can make it sharp, but only go like maybe uh, one quarter, and then you fade it out. And then it becomes one piece by the time you get to the half of the tooth right there. And that's basically your molar right there. Maybe we can fill this in right here a little bit just to close it up slightly. And then we'll sharpen it up a little bit. That's your upper first molar, right there. 